hope you find some peace of mind in this lifetime. Tell them. I hope you find some paradise. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them you're... I've been going through something. Be afraid. Alright bro, the good news is, I got a lot of content coming for y'all. The bad news is, yo, I am pissed the fuck off bro. Honestly, y'all, I don't even want to make this like it's some big secret. The truth is, alright, y'all. Where do I even start, bro? <sighs> I got a whole lot of good news that y'all have not been here to hear about. Then I got a whole lot of bad news. Uh, honestly, less bad news than good news. But as you can see, if you can't tell, I'm in the prime terminal, which is one of the good news is that I'm gonna get into. Y'all won't believe what I went through, bro. Y'all wouldn't believe what I went through, but this is why it's people like me that document kind of the journey and kind of the process, the ups and downs. Um, because otherwise, you would never know about this until you find out the way that I found out. Hopefully y'all can see me. If you can't bear with me, I'm sorry the video is so dark. It looked dark on the screen, but I'm about to be outside where it's brighter. Um, then we could talk about some other stuff, but for now it's gonna be a little dark. But listen, man, so to catch y'all up, um, I was gonna make separate videos just because I'm, I'm a content creator, bro, and it made sense. Can I not go in there? But these last few months, that has been my biggest downfall. It's like um putting stuff off, recording it for y'all because God is good, bro. Like I've been going through a lot, a lot of bad stuff, but I've been getting through it all too. You know what I mean? So it's a blessing. But where I've been falling short is I haven't been recording everything for y'all. So now it's like I got to tell you a million stories in one video to try to get you to understand. But I'm back, man, and we're going to talk about it. Logging, bro? Yeah. What's up, man? Shout out to YouTube. You got the truck? Nah, I got, yeah, I went and looked at it. I gotta go still get in there. I ain't even talked to them about that yet. You ain't talking? Uh-uh. Oh, you gotta check it out and all that? Yeah, I'm about to check it out. All right, Brody. All right. But yeah, one of the good things is I'm back and I got a lot to talk about with y'all. I wanna go in order, but it kinda don't even matter. Uh, I'll tell y'all a little bit as we go. So right now, the little bit I'll tell y'all which is not gonna make sense because you're not gonna understand and y'all gonna have to forgive me. I know I'm sweating and stuff. It's hot out here and I'm fat. <laughs> no cap, but anyways, um, one of the things that's not gonna make sense, I just drove a loaner truck, a flatbed loaner truck and not for the reasons that you probably would think like, oh, he's switching divisions or, you know what I'm saying? Not for nothing like that, nothing cool. Now, if you follow me on social media, you probably have an idea of what's going on. If you don't, then you don't. They put me in a flatbed loaner truck out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and told me to drive from Salt Lake City, Utah to Springfield, Missouri. So that's what I did. Um, it was a Freightliner and just a regular, you know, it got the new APU in there and stuff. For all my new people, if you're just tuning in and you're just not getting your truck upgrade and whatever, turn that APU off and back on, clear the codes off of the screen on that monitor, and your APU will start up. That'll save you asking a few questions to somebody else. But anyway, it's a Freightliner, y'all. And I'm not saying that I'm bigger and better than a Freightliner, but I'm not happy about that. On one side of things, I'm not happy about that. On the other side of things, I really, really need some money. I really, really, really need some money. So I'm thankful to be in a truck at all, with Prime at all. And thirdly, obviously, in a lighter truck that saved fuel. So we're gonna get into what's going on with my truck. It's pretty bad. The only good thing I can say about it is I haven't picked up this camera in a long time and now I have a reason to. Anyways, y'all, let's go look at this uh, truck.
hopefully y'all can see okay. If you can't, you just gonna have to forgive me. I might have to do a little voiceover or something until I get back acclimated with the YouTube stuff. But uh, if you see this, I don't know if that's like a gray or a mint green or what color, but this freight liner right here, this will be riding in for a minute, y'all. This us. Um, again, I'm learning to be grateful and be happy with the smaller things. I've been working so hard this year to, um, you know, elevate my life, put more in front of myself. And with that comes more responsibility, obviously, but I'm learning firsthand with more responsibility comes a lot more problems too. You know what I mean? Um, they say with great power comes great responsibility and I don't think I've reached the point of great power yet. I just got a little bit more than I had. And that little bit more is putting belts to behind right now. But anyway, y'all, this is the freight liner we riding in. It's nothing special, um, but it's a truck and it's gonna run for us. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we gonna make it work. But anywho, uh, let's go ahead and get inside and get a little tour going. It's not much to show y'all. So 2024, it's hot in there. It smells good though. Whoever was in it before me never cleared their trip. So I know they wasn't trying to maximize their MPG, which probably also means that they was more of a newer driver. But um, that just means that when we do our little inspection, we need to be looking at more stuff than we need to really be looking at everything. I'm not even gonna start it up. That way I could pull on my belts and stuff, make sure everything is in good shape. I'm sure the shop has already looked at it. So nine times out of 10, it's in good shape anyways, but we're doing our due diligence. If we can, dang. That joint almost ain't wanna open. What in the world? Y'all see the little vinyl? They done rushed and threw that together. Whoever did this did. I'm just irritated, y'all. Every little thing that's wrong with it is probably gonna irritate me. I'm not happy about this. Y'all know I loved my truck, bro. So anything other than my truck is irritating. Um, but yeah, let's check her out. Let's check her out. Okay, we got a lot of cooling in there. Um, not complaining about that, it's summertime. The more the better. Let's check our oil. A lot of people don't like the way I check oil. <laughs> I don't wear anything in this truck. Like I wouldn't check no oil. I wouldn't even pre-trip and like some clothes is not garbage. If I'm pre-tripping in some clothes that are nice, it's specifically for a video. And I probably already pre-trip before that, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. So uh, we got a little oil in here. It could go for a little bit more, but it's not low. Um, one bottle would probably be perfect, but it really don't even need that. So oil look good, power steering fluid looks, it's above the minimum, it's almost at the medium. Um, control linkage, steering linkage, control arms, nothing bent broken or cracked. Steering linkage, not too crazy rust or anything like that. Uh, my general hoses look good. See, I don't see any leakage up under the truck, but I'm also not sure how long it's been parked here. It looks like it's been a while. Uh, tires on this side looks good. We don't have any leakage coming out of our wheel right there. Also no rust around none of the lug nuts. Uh, let's go look at this other side. Brake drums look cool over here too. Yeah, and look at you, U-bolts all look good. It could go for a little bit of windshield washer fluid. And I know I'm gonna need some um, low locks. Is that dented? Nah, it's made like that, okay. Yeah, we looking good over here as well. So our belts, they are both on track pretty good. Fan looks good, it's still got a sticker on it. Wonder if it was just replaced. Whatever. Um, we'll just abridge in the cuts. 
Nothing's cracked, man. They're broken. We in decent shape. Okay. Um, we look okay under the hood. Couple things that I would want to polish up on just because I'm unfamiliar with this truck. So obviously I want to put it in the best condition that I can. But nothing looks bad. Nothing looks too bad where I'm not going to um, sign up for to loan it, to borrow it, essentially. What I know I need to do though, is the same tip I just told y'all, I need to turn that APU off and back on. Cause it's not in there running on its own right now. And it's super hot outside. If you ever need to do this, you click those two buttons. I'm sure y'all trainer taught you, but just in case somebody needs to see it, click those two buttons, the two bottom squares. Could grab one of these to open it down there you're gonna have the circle and the, and the line the circle is off push it to the circle i usually count to like five seconds three four five push it back to the line now our apu should have power when you get back in there you should be able to turn it on and be good to go my tires look good as well no bolts abrasions or cuts back here my airbags do not look damaged my skid plate has grease on it um, my light turned on. I can't do a light test yet. Um, the center column all looks good. No bulges, abrasions, or cuts. Not cracked, man, or broken. Yeah, we all look good. Um, mud flaps intact. Yeah, we good. All right, let's go in here and crank her back up. Listen to it. See if it idles rough or anything. See, do I got a little fuel in here? Please give me like half a tank. My depth decent. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we in here or whatever. Um, so I'm going to catch y'all up. I'm going to catch y'all up. Uh... I'm not going to tell y'all everything in this video just because it's way too much stuff. This video would be two hours long if I was trying to do that. Um, but I'll tell y'all first what happened with my truck. So I was asleep. Y'all don't know this, but I went home on vacation. Uh, I went on my first trip really this whole year. My first trip like that was not work related. I didn't took off time off work a couple times to take care of some other business that I haven't told y'all about yet. But um, I took a trip, went home for a week when I came back from my trip just instantly ran into problems I'm gonna show y'all all that stuff when I get back to my situation when I get back home and all that um, but anyway on my second load the day I picked it up I drove like 200 more miles and then I parked for the night because I had a lot of time on it if you work at Prime you already know that we got a lot of time on these loads we not we ain't been moving like that you know um so I go to sleep when I wake up, this man's whole trailer, y'all, is like on top of my hood. I didn't get to get it all on camera. Um, he was empty, so it wasn't like it just, you know, flattened my hood or anything like that. But like his whole trailer was on top of my like on top of my truck. I woke up to the truck shaking and I'm like, what is going on? Uh, when I finally got my head together to be able to check, I'm putting my pants on or whatever. And the truck starts shaking again, but this time it's shaking even harder. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Right? Um, I peek out the blinds again. Why do I see this man driving down the parking lot? Like trying to run, y'all. He was going like maybe 10, 15 miles an hour up the parking lot at 4 a.m. It's no parks or nothing. Like, you're not doing nothing but running. I ran after this man, caught up to him. Um, long story short. I went through hell with that. I'll throw in a couple clips probably right here.
<laughs> oh man. I swear y'all didn't see me in more hotels than in the truck. There ain't nobody fault but mine, but I, man. Man, y'all. So the tow guy is here. I'm explaining everything later. I'll make a video separately explaining all this just to fill in the gaps. Long story short, I was involved in an accident. Um, it wasn't my fault, but I was involved in an accident. Uh, I've been in a hotel room for two and a half days now. I waited for like at least bro like 11 12 hours from being hit from my repower um i had to wait on my repower because somebody had to be able to take over the load now i couldn't leave my my truck and go get a hotel room until somebody was there to take over the load obviously which is like whatever the catch is it's a heat wave out here in California where I'm at, right? I have to wait on all these people, all these other moving parts, bro, so that I can do any of the things that I need to do, right? But none of these moving parts are up to me. Like, everybody's so unresponsive. I'm talking to safety. I'm talking to, I, can't, I ain't really talk much to my dispatch, but I'm talking to safety left and right, bro. Trying to get people on the phone. Trying to get things situated and figured out. Nobody has answers for me. So meanwhile, I'm like the last one in the loop to get the information. Like today, I hit these people up. I extended my room yesterday. Yesterday made my second day. I extended it because I'm like, okay, I need to be able to stay somewhere. It's too hot in my truck. You think I'm kidding? What does that say, y'all? That says 116. I throw up a screenshot, bro. It's 116. Like, it's too hot for me to be standing in my truck. So I'm like, is my tow gonna be here in the morning? I woke up at 9 a.m. so I could be ready for my tow and be ready to check out at noon. They tell me that my tow not coming. I don't have a tow. It's, it's not coming for the net for another day. So I, I quickly go to the office and extend my room because obviously I need to be able to stay somewhere, bro. I can't stay in the truck. I kid you not, like six hours later, just now, my toe get here. Now my toe is here after I just paid for my room for another day. Every day I have to pay for a room, they charge me another security deposit because I'm booking one day at a time. I'm not booking for the whole thing. So I spent $600 to stay here so far. $600. Y'all, this not it, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This is not it, bro. This is not it, and it's not me. It's not me. It's not me, bro. This is just not, this not the move. This not what y'all want, bro. Not gonna lie. Now I'm trying not to like speak overly emotional because that's not gonna help anything right now. And I know better than that. But like real talk, this is not it, bro. This is not it. It really feel like nobody cares about what I'm going through. Y'all see how long I waited just to try to get my fleet manager on the phone so I can see if I will be reimbursed for this money that I'm steadily kicking out. Can't get an answer, bro. Only person that called me today, the whole day to check on me at all, is the tow truck when the tow guy was here, which he's not even supposed to be here today, according to my company. According to my company, he's not supposed to be here all day. He's supposed to get here tomorrow morning instead of today. Every day is something different, bro. And I'm the last one in the line of communication to figure any of this stuff out, bro. Let's go figure out what's next, I guess. Hey, Mark, this is 741289. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, today was my second day in the hotel. Uh, I reached out to safety to see kind of um, what, the, what the deal was with the tow. Apparently, he was supposed to be coming, coming today to get me. And the uh, safety told me that he wasn't coming today. He was actually coming tomorrow. And that they basically just didn't, they hadn't told me yet, I guess. 
Uh, I got a phone call from a guy. What'd you say? Rotasis. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rotasis, not safety. It was Rotasis, so I He told me that uh, they sent the tote, which, uh, no, he told me that they were sending the tote for tomorrow instead of today. Uh, I extended my room because I thought I'd have to be here another day in my truck. But my APU already doesn't work and I can't let the truck auto for cold air because of um, the cooling issue or whatever. Anyways, I got a phone call today from the, from the tow truck. And he's outside. Like I'm literally right now about to get towed, but I've already paid for my room and all that. And I haven't heard anything from Rotasis about like I I only know that this I'm supposed to be doing this because it was originally supposed to be today. So I know it's not just there's no way that he's here for no reason. But I've like paid for a room and everything. Hold on. So I don't like how does this go? Uh, try to update you guys. I, I'll just shoot you a message. Matter of fact, whenever I know something, I'll, I'll shoot you a message so we can kind of all be in the same loop. Okay. All right. I appreciate it, boss. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Everybody want to be a truck driver. Everybody want to be a truck driver. But anyways, yeah, I went through hell with that. With getting my truck towed and getting everything situated and all that. Um, but that landed me here. Uh, one morning I got a phone call after I had been home for like five days or four days. After some other stuff that I didn't even get to tell y'all about. The whole world doesn't know about this stuff. But like, it was really, really, like some really, really bad stuff happened with me and Prime. I'll just say that really, really bad stuff happened with me and Prime, and um, I got a phone call after I handled all that stuff, and they told me that I needed to come up to Salt Lake City and drive this truck down to Springfield, and I was under the impression that I was getting breakdown pay, so I was in no rush to get back to work after everything else that I went through with them. I was honestly not very eager to get back in no truck for them. Or not, I won't even say for them because it's for myself, it's for my own LLC, my own business. You know what I mean? But I was just not interested in, in I needed a, a break. I needed a break to like get through my emotions and what I was feeling and any sort of like, I'm human, I'm going to just be honest. Like I had a little, I felt a way. I, I felt a way and I, I had a little bit of an attitude and I know that's feminine and I don't like to move that way and think that way and that's why I wanted to take a break because I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was feeling associated with these people that I've been partnering with this long. So I wanted to take a break until I could like shake the emotions and take all that emotion out of it and you know, get back to business, y'all. Got a phone call, they said if I don't come and take this truck then I don't get my breakdown pay and now I'm just gonna be a curing debt basically. So, jumped in that truck, bobtailed the uh, truck. It was a flatbed truck all the way from Salt Lake City to Springfield it took me like 20 hours or so um, I did it in two days got here uh, this morning I went and talked to success leasing told them hey I brought this truck up here for y'all I'm supposed to be picking up another truck she said I'll get you one before the end of the day here we are this is our truck this is our situation um like I said it's so much I have to tell y'all like life just been life in and it's not out of control honestly like humbly as humbly as i can say it it's honestly been going more in my favor than i could have anticipated i'm in a great situation right now um i still am able to work with the company that i've been working for uh, i'll be with them for a couple more years um i have another truck um my other truck has business has been successful for the most part some things that I have to complain about but like for the most part I've been I've stayed on the top side of things I'm in profit you know what I mean I have a driver you know what I mean I'm paying and shit like I have a lot of stuff that I need to talk to y'all about uh yeah so the good news is just XLLC is more than just me and a semi truck that I'm leasing now 
And the bad news is my truck is down and they talking about three to four weeks.